Good morning. It is day one of the power outage. So the power did go out last night. Um, and it's, I, I have no clock behind me, so I don't know exactly what time it is. I think it's about 11. Uh, but the day's been good so far. We woke up before dawn, so we spent the morning to candlelight. And I was intending to dye my yarn today with my avocado and onion and black beans and what else is in here? Beet skins. But I decided that I wanted to use a mordant. So I've been doing a little bit of research and the information is honestly a little vague across the internet, but they say that if you're dying with avocado, you don't necessarily need an additional mordant, which is a substance that makes uh, color adhere to your dye material, like yarn. Um, and the reason why some people say you don't need a mordant with avocados is because the tannins in avocados acts as a mordant. It will adhere the dye to the yarn. Um, but for two reasons, I've decided that I want to use a mordant anyway. One is that I have other stuff in here, so I don't know exactly if that's going to translate to the other, the color coming from the other materials. And two, I'm pretty sure that even with avocados, if you add a mordant, I would get like a deeper, richer color. I don't know. I may be making that up. <laughs> but I decided I wanted to add a mordant, and I don't have what I need. So what I'm going to be using is alum. It's A-L-U-M. But I can't find it anywhere locally. So um, there are stores still open in my town, even though the power's out. There are grocery stores and the hardware stores. And I've tried my grocery stores. I've tried my hardware stores. They are open, but they none of them carry alum. So I, uh, unfortunately, I really wanted to go get some today so I could die today, but I couldn't find any. So I went on Amazon and I ordered some alum, but it won't be here until Tuesday. So I can't dye it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna strain my dye stock, put it in a jar, keep it until I can get my mordant. I do have this book, The Modern Natural Dyer by Christine Vehar, and um, it's more of a project-based book. So that's been pretty fun to read through this morning uh, since I don't have power. Uh, and now what I'm gonna do is just strain my dye stock and um, put it in a jar. Okay, so I have my dye stock. There is going to be a little bit of a pause on this dye experiment, but um, on Tuesday, once I get my mordant, I will keep going. My plan right now is to dye two skeins of yarn in this. I'm going to do a skein of fingering weight on my merino sock base and a skein of my DK weight base, and I think I'm going to add my DK weight naturally dyed yarn into Lucy's DK weight crochet blanket that I'm making her. I think that would be really cool. So I'm going to say goodbye to my lovely dye stock for now. It looks really good. It's pretty dark, so you can't really tell, but I'm pretty excited about it. So two very lucky things about uh, me and my household during this power outage is that for one, we still have hot running water, which I am extraordinarily grateful for. Um, the other is that while my oven may not work, my stovetop works because I have a gas range. So I just have to uh, light it with a lighter every time I go to light it. So it's, I feel super lucky that I can still cook, take hot showers, and have coffee <laughs> during the power outage. So tonight for dinner, I am making sausage from some house-made andouille from my local butcher. 
and which we got yesterday they were kind of discounting all their meat because they weren't going to be able to refrigerate it for much longer so some andouille sausage with a whole bunch of vegetables i've got potato garlic carrots kale cabbage tomatoes both red and green tomatoes and green pepper this is my um little compost bin that i'm going to be taking outside soon so I'll be sauteing those things together, throwing in some long grain brown rice, and then uh, cooking it all together until it's done. So it'll just be a sausage and rice and vegetable thing that's going to use up a bunch of stuff from our refrigerator, and it'll be pretty good. Hi Lucille, how are you enjoying the power outage? <gasps> what do you think of it?
So day two of the power outage has been going pretty well. It is Monday now. The power's still out and uh, both Colin and I did not go to work today because both of our offices are closed. So we still don't know exactly when the power's coming back on. Uh, we've heard, it's all really vague because, you know, information, it's not all that planned information kind of comes out as it comes out. Um, but they're thinking that the power is going to be out tomorrow as well, which is Tuesday. Um, but I've heard that what they say is that they're trying to get power on later today for a little while before it goes out again tomorrow. So who knows? I don't know. I don't know how that's going to go. <laughs> but um, it's been pretty nice so far. Uh, we're all just kind of home, hanging out. But things are going good. So we'll see uh, what happens from here. So it's about 3 o'clock on Monday still. And the power just came back on. But it's going to go out again in the middle of the night tonight, we think. And be out tomorrow. So we've got just this afternoon and this evening of power. So... My plan for the rest of the day is to panic do all the laundry in the house, <laughs> charge all the devices, go on the internet a whole bunch, and edit and upload this vlog. So hopefully that happens, and hopefully you are seeing this on the internet, which is a place where I will also be for the next few hours. Uh, but then after that, who knows? power's going out again. Okay. 